So here we are a year later and uh, I'm still a web developer. <laughs> it's kind of cool to me making this video now. Um, I actually looked at the video I made at my six, six month mark. Um, I was sitting on this sofa. I think I was wearing this same t-shirt as well. So uh, it's kind of funny to close that circle. I kind of don't really know what to say. I kind of, I, I also, I only remembered this date purely kind of by accident. Uh, only because my birthday is around May, uh, around early May. Um, and when I started my first job, I had my birthday a couple of days after I started. So I didn't celebrate it at work. And I didn't necessarily, you know, use it as a milestone that way. It just kind of turned out that way. Um, but in this past week, I've now officially passed my first year in industry. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. I think if you've been following this channel for a while or if you've looked through my back catalogues of old videos, you'll see that I started making stuff, uh, I think when I was still at my boot camp, um, I was making lots of videos about, you know, doing personal projects and how to look for that first job, how to get your first job in industry. Um, and it's kind of cool to look back at those videos and see how far I've come since then. So I think... My main takeaways from my first year are definitely don't expect to know everything. Um, there's going to be lots and lots and lots of things you don't know when you first start. I mean, I'm now a year in and there's still loads of stuff I don't know. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. That's something I had a bit of a problem with in the beginning of my career, let's say. But now I've kind of got rid of that. I've stopped trying to feel like I should know everything. And it's completely legitimate to not know everything. It's completely legitimate to not know a lot of stuff. So don't be afraid to ask questions of people that are more senior of you. And even people that aren't senior um, or don't have more seniority over you, don't be afraid to ask you know, your peers. I mean, there's people that work at my company now that joined after me. They're less time in the industry. They're in their first jobs in the industry. But I still ask them questions because, you know, I don't know what they've learned. I don't know what their background is. I don't know. I don't know really what else to say. It's all kind of a bit of a, it's a bit of a blur. Um, it's been good fun. I've worked on a lot of interesting stuff in the last year. I've been exposed to not just web development, I mean, more so in my current role, a lot of you know client management, a lot of how to deal with clients and deal with customers. I've learned a lot about web analytics and data. I've learned a lot about um, databases and writing servers. Um, obviously, my JavaScript knowledge has just gone through the roof. And also, just on a personal level, you know, when I've come to, you know, build little side projects or just sort of keep my mind stimulated about programming outside of work, it's a really great feeling to sort of say, okay, let's have an idea. And, you know, within a week or two, you can build a really good working prototype or a, you know, a really good working model or sort of bringing your vision to life. So it's really cool to sort of see your professional progression also help, you know, if you like doing programming as a hobby. Um, it's kind of still a bit of a weird feeling that after deciding to get into this industry, having no, you know, academic background in uh, computer science or not really having any proper background in programming um, to go from nothing to, you know, being a web developer, you know, employed, that's what you do. It's a really cool feeling. So I think the main thing to take away if you are watching this and you're just starting out or, you know, you're looking for that first job or you've just started your, you know, your career is just stick with it. Just get your head down, study, learn, but mainly just enjoy yourself. There's going to be hard days. There's going to be days where you just, you know, nothing's moving. Everything feels like, you know, just you feel horrible, but just stick with it because really the payoff is awesome. I love being in this industry still. <laughs> so uh, yeah. And I also wanted to take this video as an opportunity to uh, give sort of a little look at what the day in the life of a web developer is. Now, a lot of people have asked me this question and I see this question coming up a lot on the internet about um, what does a web developer do every day? Oh, obviously, you know, every company is different. Every person has a different sign of schedule. Um, but I've never really seen like a proper, you know, this is what I do video. So I asked my uh, managers and the owners of the company I work for if I could actually film my video at work. 
and they said no. <laughs> so I've had to resort to using st stock footage. Um, so I'll just, you know, watch the next bit and I'll walk you through my day today with some lovely stock footage. So my average day begins obviously with waking up, I take a shower in the morning and have some breakfast. Then I head out to work and grab the bus. I usually sit in traffic for about half an hour. Then when I get into the office, I grab a coffee and then uh, pull up my emails and just check if anything important came in overnight. I then uh, usually check the web dev subreddit and uh, just have a look over in Hacker News and see if anything interesting was posted overnight. Then the day starts, my team, we have a stand-up meeting for about 15 minutes where we obviously everyone goes around in a circle and we talk about what we did yesterday and what we're planning to do in the day. Then I sit down and I just start coding, start working on tickets that I've got in Jira, um, just start working basically on um, building the uh, software and projects that I'm working on at the moment. Then at my office, we do something quite fun that every day two people in the office cook lunch. So you don't obviously don't have to eat lunch at work, but most people stay in and uh, we all have sort of a big communal lunch together every day. Then after that in the afternoon, it's sitting back down, doing more coding. Um, you know, sometimes I'll have some meetings in the afternoon that I need to attend and just, you know, status meetings or meeting with clients. Then I usually, you know, at the end of the day, finish off, I fill out any timesheets I need to fill out, just update my Jira, update my uh, account on Monday, which is a project tracking tool. Then I get back on the bus, sit in traffic uh, all the way home. And then in the evenings, I usually like to chill out, just have some dinner. Um, if I'm feeling very lazy, I'll then just uh, flick on Netflix and watch some uh, TV or watch a movie. And if I'm feeling inspired, <laughs> I'll uh, go out for a run or sometimes I go to a boxing class in Tel Aviv. And then uh, it's off to bed and that's basically what I do, you know, every day. <laughs> so that was my daily routine as a web developer, let's say. Um, you know, don't take it as gospel, you know, the difference between what I do now at my current job and what I did at my previous job are completely different in terms of the day-to-day -day makeup, but it's really good, I think, to, you know, put a video out there and show people, you know, kind of what the day-to-day -day for somebody is. Um, if you want to leave me a comment down below of your daily routine or what you get up to on a day-to-day basis, I'd really love to see it. You know, it's really interesting to me to see how other people work. Um, once again, thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, I'll see you around next time.